Science International. This is Nutrition for A Level Biology Tutorial 14. In our previous tutorial, we looked at cyclic photophosphorylation, and in this particular one, we are going to look at non cyclic photophosphorylation, basically the Z scale. Yes, thank you so much for those who have subscribed, the likes of SBH and Acrotic. These people deal in chemistry tutorials, second year Samuel, biology and chemistry tutorials, uh, students from Maryland High School, other schools like Advanced Progressive, and those are blood uh, from India, Kenya, United States of America, and many other countries, German. We just appreciate your audience. Feel free to always encourage friends to subscribe to this channel so pull out your notebooks it is time to learn by the way by the time you accept to pull out your notebook you conform actually you you just know that it is the process of photosynthesis allowing you to to jot things in the notebooks this is just because the pulp industry is dependent on soft wood and soft wood how does it come up by photosynthesis through photosynthesis we make starch which starch is used by the plants to build wood and you see uh, it is from this that they make for us books and we're not doing class work therefore let us support the process by first looking at it, what is non cyclic photophosphorylation and the Z scale? Let us look at it. Stay good to Easy Science International. Let's go. So today's topic is the Z scheme or non cyclic photophosphorylation. Last time we looked at cyclic photophosphorylation and now we want to dig deep, deep into another type of photophosphorylation known as the non cyclic photophosphorylation. Now, why is it called the Z scheme? This is because its graphical representation takes a pattern of a Z. This is like an inverted Z. So, Today we want to look at it and understand it in brief. So, non-cyclic photophosphorylation involves two photosystems, that is photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. And it also involves the two electron acceptors, we have phenodoxin and plastoquino. Now, on our energy level diagram, we have our increasing energy level. We are going to simply describe what happens in non cyclic photophosphorylation. We summarized it into five major stages. And these include stimulation of photosystem 2, synthesis of ATP, uh, stimulation of photosystem 1, followed by replacement of photosystem 2 electrons, and the reduction of NADP. So, NADP is nicotinamide adenine dinucleophosphate. Now, step one, stimulation of PS2 
or photosystem to chlorophyll molecules. How is it? How does it occur? Now, when a more, when a photon of light strikes a chlorophyll molecule belonging to photosystem two, the electrons in there are excited. They get promoted to higher energy level, and eventually emitted. Now, after their emission, they are accepted by an electron acceptor, and that is plastoquinone. You see? So, these electrons, the electrons in here are stimulated by light. They increase to higher energy level after being promoted, actually they are promoted to higher energy level and then emitted. So, after being emitted, they are accepted by an electron acceptor here called plastoquinone. Now, you see that plastoquinone is at a higher energy level than photosystem 2. What happens? Um, stage 2 or step 2 is synthesis of ATP. Now, during synthesis of ATP, the plastoquinone, which is our electron acceptor, hands over the electron to photosystem 1. Now, via a series of electron carriers with subsequent release of energy. You see, along this is downhill. Along this electron path, it is being added over to a series of electron carriers. Now, from each electron carrier to another, there is a loss of energy. The way you can look at this, when the electron is at this point, it is at a higher energy as compared to when it is there. Now, it is this energy that is incorporated into a strong phosphile bond that bonds adenosine diphosphate to inorganic phosphate to form for us ATP, just like this. So, adenosine diphosphate is bonded to inorganic phosphate in order to form for us adenosine triphosphate or ATP. Basically, this is by this time we formed for us ATP energy, and this is the process of photophosphorylation is achieved. But there are other products we want to to form from here.